Oh my god, there's nuclear misinformation spreading around in the Zenla Zone Zero community right now. Everyone is breaking their account. You have to watch this immediately. Immediately. Watch this before it's too late as a completely free to play player in Zenla Zone Zero. Subscribe! Hey guys, it's the Poke here, back with another video. It has been a hot minute ever since I got sent to the Shadow Realms by the Elden Ring DLC Brain Rot, but we are once again back again, and this is a very, very, very important video that I want to make. Basically, farming drive discs at level 35 might actually be the optimal use of your stamina. So without further ado, Let's get into today's content. What exactly the hell am I talking about? How in God's name am I gonna spend stamina, especially as a free-to-play? I'm completely free to play Zenzo. As a free-to-play player in Zenzo, how the hell am I spending stamina on drive discs at level 35? Shouldn't you be dumping everything into tracers? Should you be dumping everything into character levels? Uh, w engine levels? Why the hell would anyone in their right mind Ben stamina on drive discs this early into the game. First of all, I want to set a little bit of a context. So this video is specifically for players who uh, are not playing the game just for their husbandos and waifus. All right, this video is specifically for players that actually want to min-max their stamina usage. You care about efficiency. You are either a free-to-play or will, it doesn't matter, because ultimately it will impact your overall progression in the game. And second point to note is that this will only impact you if you are rushing to finish the refreshable Shiyu defense by the end of the month. As a complete free-to-play, I have already beaten this stage uh, insane. Uh, this is the stage that actually refreshes, right? So this stage right here, time until the end of operation is going to be 16 days, right? 16 days. So everyone else, if you, you are not within these kind of players, uh, you can you can, you can can move on, right? But hey, feel free to stay to the end of the video because, you know, I spent a billion dollars on Firefly and I'm a complete broke. Uh, um, anyways, so why would I say use your stamina, your precious, precious stamina in the cleanup domain, in the cavern of corrosion, in the relic dungeons? Well, here is the reason why, right? Here is the reason why. As you guys can see, point number one, even at level 35, you are able to access the level 40 domain. This level 50 domain, it unlocks at level 45. It doesn't unlock at level 40. At level 40 changes nothing. You are going to be farming the same stage level 40 at level 35 or level 40. So that's number one, right? Get that first. That's number one. Number two, if you go back into the HIA club, these traces, they upgrade per 10 levels, right? So 30, when you reach 40, you're gonna get 40. And when you reach 50, you're gonna unlock, right? So these unlock per 10 levels. The relic domains is five levels in between. So this is where a little bit of numbers are gonna come into play. The math. Then the zone zero leveling requirements. Shout out to my man Koexida for pulling this up and helping me compile this. I have already gotten this thought at the back of my head. I feel like something is up. And with this, Hopefully, you guys can share this with your friends, your family members, anyone that is playing Zenla Zone Zero, looking to optimize their stamina usage. So what exactly is it that I have discovered? These are the amount of loot you will obtain per 20 stamina. So from level 30 to 40, these are the average drop rate that you're obtaining here, right? In terms of purple experience, right? This is the column for 30 to 40. And this is the column for 40 to 50. Notice how there is a significant, significant increase from agent promotions and agent skills. A more than 50% increase in returns if you were to farm them from level 40 to level 50. Some of the other stuff, not that much of a difference, but agent promotion specifically it goes up by a lot and keep in mind this is per 20 stamina so absolutely insane absolutely insane so if you don't want to care about this you can just skip right into this right these are the map and how much it takes right so these are basically how much it takes for you to uh basically it takes a shit ton almost a million dollars a million dennies but this is the important part okay, before people take this out of uh context or say i'm spreading misinformation you should still farm for tracers but do not pre-farm tracers 
it is highly advisable that you don't stash up pre-farm them and instantly when you hit level 40, you'll instantly make your agents level 50. Pre-farming in Zenzone is not worth it. And what else should you be doing besides pre-farming? Drive discs, right? And here is the reason why. Total stamina you would have taken to upgrade a single agent with five skills maxed out. This is take assuming that you bring them from level 7 to 9, right? Because when you reach level 40, you upgrade your agent levels and W engine levels from level 40 to level 50. And then your tracers, your skills, it goes from level 7 to level 9. So it takes you roughly 1,483.64 stamina to max out if you were to pre-farm them from level 30 to 40. If you were to not pre-farm them and you only started farming at level 40 to 50, it quite literally costs you two-thirds of the stamina required. It saves you almost 500 stamina for a single unit. Now, I'm not sure about you guys, but as a free-to-play player myself, 500 stamina is more than one day worth of free-to-play income. It's almost two whole days worth, and this is for a single unit. So, as you guys can clearly see, pre-farming for tracers at this point is legitimately not worth it. I want to take this a step Further. Now, this might be me going like absolutely schizo. This might be me going absolutely crazy. I wouldn't even recommend players to farm up their second team before level 40. This is a little bit of a hypothetical situation, right? I think the best way, the absolute best way to use your stamina, you still do your tracers, 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 tracers up until level 35. So from level 1 to level 35, you only focus on a team of 3. From level 35 to 40, you start farming your relics. You start having to drive discs. And then from level 40 onwards, then you start bringing your team of three to level 50 and your second team to level 50 as well. The reason is very simple. This thing over here, it does not refresh. It is a one-time clear event. The only thing that matters is this. This refreshes, but it refreshes at the end of the month. Whether you raise up your second team today or next week or two weeks later, it has no difference whatsoever because it literally just takes you one clear and you're done. So a player raising up their second team earlier on, their second team is quote unquote worthless because you could say, yeah, I want to build my second team earlier so that I could tackle this earlier, right? But there's no point in tackling this earlier because these things do not refresh. And if you were to prematurely build your second team, it's not like you're going to go very far here anyways. Your two teams of level 40 units, free to play by, by the way, uh, is not going to get you very, very far. That brings us back to opportunity cost. Instead of doing that, where you are pre-farming your, not pre-farming, but you're farming and building your second team right now, you could just build your second team from level 40 onwards because I am completely free to play and I am reaching level 40 soon. Completely free to play. And there are still 16 days remaining before this thing resets. If within 16 days, you could completely raise up your second team, then it would have saved you a lot, a lot of stamina. Uh, so if you can take a look over here, this is required from 1 to 50. From 1 to 50, if you were to raise a unit at level 40, it would have only taken you 1,508 stamina. But this is for a unit with 5 skills. And as you have known from Xenodon Zero, most of the time, the only unit that you want five skills maxed out is going to be your main DPS. So for supports and your sustain, most of the time, you only care about like a single skill or maybe two skills, right? Your assist and the skill. That's it. You will never, pretty much never use the ultimate. Your base attack is very, very not frequent and the dodge is not, it doesn't matter that much. You can say that if you were to save your stamina, save your building of the second team until level 40, it quite literally saves you 800 stamina. That is almost three full days worth of stamina. We have around 4,800 stamina from right now, today, as of time of this recording, which is uh, 15th of July, to 16 days when the thing resets. So if you can build up your second team, which is three units, and like I said, you don't need all of them to be at max skills, you would have saved a lot, a lot, a lot of stamina. So that is the gist of where I'm going. Do not pre-farm, and you might even consider not building on second team until level 40. Because at level 40, it saves you a hell of a lot of resources, right? So between level 35 to 40, which is where you unlock the new relic domain, that's when I believe players should start investing their stamina into these relic domains. Because we will have enough stamina here to fully raise up a unit from level 1 to 50 based on these criteria over here. So between 35 to 40, farming relics will be the best bit of buck 
Because the moment you're done with relics, right, and we're not aiming for like God's tier sets, we just want the right main sets, whatever, you're done. The next upgrade for your relic is at level 45 and above. Can you not farm relics for that long? Yeah, sure, fuck it. I'm just not gonna farm relics for 10 or levels. I'm just gonna pre farm even more. But as you can see, pre farming is already, quote unquote, a stamina deficit. You are already pre farming at a 33% net loss. Imagine this difference when you hit level 50 and unlock the final stage. I hope what I'm saying here makes sense. In my opinion, which is what I'm doing right now as a free to play, I feel that I have low key uh, wasted a little bit of stamina, right? Because today, today, uh, as of this day of the recording, 16th of July, I cleared floor 10. And I can't really go past this that much. Uh, I, I got completely destroyed by this stage. I, I I was barely even clearing the first half, right? I completely fucking destroyed. This shows me that I really had no sense of urgency in building my second team. If I had only just waited to build my second team when I reached level 40, it would have saved me a lot more stamina. I don't really care if I don't tackle this right now. It doesn't matter to me because this thing never refreshes. As long as I clear this and this, by the end of the month, I would have gotten the exact same amount of rewards while saving 30% of my stamina cost if I were to build my units my second team at level 40 onwards. In my opinion, I feel that like I slow key break my account. I am now currently dumping all of my stamina into the red domains. And let's just keep it a buck. Having the right main stat on your DPS, especially at S rank, it changes a lot. Previously, I was like running, running this, this attack percentage. Uh, this 12.5% into this nuclear 30% attack, it made quite a significant difference when it comes to my overall clearing. And this one over here, this used to be my, my piece. Create damage. And now I got this random ass piece. Not the best, but I still got it, right? Not to say that getting good relics is your priority, but I would say that having the right main stat, it does make difference when it comes to you clearing the stages. It made a lot of difference for me, actually. Because at this point, all of my tracers are more or less. Best. I can't really improve them anymore. So the only thing I can improve right now, if I want to clear them, is to do relics. That's it, right? This is pretty much the end of my tin foil hat theory. I think just to kind of wrap up a little bit in case you guys are, you know, still a little bit confused. You should still farm for your skills, especially your main team, especially your main DPS. You definitely farm for your, your traits and talents, but it's not worth it to pre-farm for your level 50 because it, it literally costs you 30% more stamina if you were to do it here, right? Opportunity cost, yes, opportunity cost. The, the stages, they are not going away until the end of the month. So you literally have the end of the month to get your units to level 50. Whether you do it today or you do it next week, it doesn't matter, right? What matters is that you're losing 30% of the stamina if you were to pre-farm. Also, your supports, frankly speaking, even if they're at level 40, it's completely fucking fine. 90% of the time, the one on your field is your main DPS. So even if they're at level 40, it's completely fine. As long as your main DPS goes from level 40 to level 50, it will make a significant difference when it comes to your clearing speed. Uh, do you think we should prepare for Danny's character experience and go on your drive this? I feel you don't have to because if we go by the assumption that you only raise your main DPS to level 50, it's not a lot of... Uh, it doesn't cost that much money. You know? It doesn't cost that much. Uh, this level is 45,000. I have 1.3 million as a complete free to play. I know some of these are kind of expensive. I think this is like 60,000. But for a single unit that your main DPS, you don't really need to specifically farm for Zenis or uh, Dennis just for your main DPS. Unless you're telling me you want to raise every single one of your teammates to level 50, or you completely fucked your life and you built up like seven units, eight units, nine units, then this, this guy is not for you. If you break your account by building like nine different units like this early, uh, this account's not for you. Uh, at that point, uh, your account is already over, right? So that is that is something uh, for you to consider. Some of you may be saying, yo, Mr. Bogey, if I were to spend my stamina farming drive discs, but they just turn out to be completely dog shit, wouldn't I have just wasted all of my stamina just getting garbage relics? That's completely unusable. Wrong. Why? You shouldn't be looking at drive disc farming from 35 to 40 as a means for you to get perfect drive discs. You should be seeing this. Okay, I'm trying to get the right main set, but even if I fail, all these drive discs that I'm farming now, they can be used as drive disc experience. Oh my god, insane. You are gonna need drive disc experience if you want to take your drive discs to level 15. So you either farm it now, or you have the shortage in the future, eventually. Especially when you need 6 times 6, 36 different drive discs to level 15 eventually. There's honestly no loss. It's, it's a good that you get a right main stats. It's even better if you get the right main stat with the right sub stats. It is 
even better if you get right main stat, right subset on the right stat. But even if you don't get all these, completely dog shit drive discs can still be used as experience. So there's ultimately no net loss for you. So with that knowledge in mind, you're probably wondering, hey, Mr. Pokey, the rank one Zenith Zone Zero Free to play, where the fuck should I farm? There's so many different domains. So many. Where the fuck should I be spending my stamina from level 35 to level 40? And the answer to that question is very simple. Stay tuned to the next video where I'll be going through dry discs in Xena Zone Zero. Insane. Feel free to let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, is it more efficient? Is it not efficient? Should you pre-farm? Should you not pre-farm? In my opinion, it's not worth it. But I'm open to suggestion, right? So one last time, I'm going to pull up the map over here so that you guys can kind of take a screenshot and just kind of reference this to your, to your own liking, right? All right. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, with that, we have come to the end of today's content. Let me know what you guys did in the comments below. Want to join my Discord? Discord.g for this Pokemon. We have a very active community talking about Zen and Zone Zero on a daily basis. Want to check out my stream? Twitch.tv for this Pokemon. You don't have to be able to today. Join the Pokemon Discord. That's all today. All the best for your Ellen Pools. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.